Okay, so today we are making um, a mini house out of a carton of milk. Okay, so I have a half gallon carton, um, but if you have, you know, a full gallon or um, a quart, it'll work for that too. Um, this can be used for many different things. It could be a birdhouse that you could hang from your tree or put into your garden. Um, it could be a little dollhouse. It could be a fairy house. You could stick some um, tea lights in there and have it be a light up fairy house. Um, yeah, it can. you can use it for any sort of miniature house that you want. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to tear off the um, labels. And mine's coming off very um, easily right now. If yours isn't, I know that another trick is to um, run it under warm water for a little bit and it will, and then you can kind of peel it off. Okay. This seems to be coming off pretty well though. So I think I'm okay. Yeah, good. That side's all clear now. I'm good. Um, I'm going to be using the side that doesn't have the handle. That way I have the handle in the back. But I've seen a lot of examples that have the handle right in the front. Okay, I'm gonna peel off this other side. I'll pause the video while I do that and come back when it's done. Okay, so now that I've got all my sides um, clean, I'm good to go. And make sure that if you're going to want to decorate or draw on any of the sides um, that had a peel, you just kind of gently um, wipe it off with a warm cloth. So the materials, what we are going to be using in this video, you're going to need scissors, or your parents can use an X-Acto knife if they find that's easier. Um, you'll want a non-washable um, marker because the washable markers would just easily wipe right off of the plastic carton and won't stay on. So you'll want to make sure you have one that will not just wipe right off. Um, you can use paint to decorate your carton, or if you have um, other Color markers, you can use those to decorate. Either one works. I'm going to try out using paint this time. So then I also have some paint brushes and a little um, cup of water. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a big um, door opening. Okay. So we're going to do that right in the bottom. So we're going to create a cut in the rectangle at the bottom. Okay. So this is when you're going to definitely want um, an adult to help and do this for you, okay? I'm going to create a hole in the bottom here, there go, and then I'm going to cut a straight line right along the bottom. See that little flap, that opening now? And then I want to keep my door attached, so I'm actually only going to cut one side of it. It'll be like a swinging door. Just trying to make sure I did it straight. <clears throat> I also made sure to rinse out my milk jug. I did like three rinses, so I made sure it was nice and clean. No one wants a dirty, stinky house to live in or play in. So make sure that you rinse it out really good and then let it dry. Okay, so. Now I have 
my door opening. I cut it on three sides and I and you can just cut it right off and have that be an opening like a garage or um you can do like I did and just kind of like have it be like a flap, an open door. All right. Just taking a look. I think make it a little bit bigger later on. But for now, that's good. So, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a door handle on it. I'm going to draw a little handle on my door. There we go, and I leave that little door handle. Okay. And then I might draw a little four pane window as well. One of those windows that split into four sections. There we go. Now I've got um, the front door here. Next, I'm going to cut out a window, okay? I'm gonna cut out a window right here. You have options. You could either just draw on a window. You definitely don't need to cut it. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna try drawing on my window and then I'm gonna cut it out. Here. I'm just drawing a nice, good rectangle with nice straight lines so it'll be nice and easy to cut out afterwards. And what I'm doing is I'm actually going to be making um, shutters for my window. Instead of doing a four pane window this time, I'm doing shutters instead. They are going to stay connected too, as if they could be open and closed. Okay, so I drew my window with its shutters. So now I'm gonna cut it out. Once again, make sure you have an adult do this part for you or at least help you with it. I need to poke it. I'm gonna poke it open without poking myself. Got a little hole in there. There we go. Got it. I just have to hold it more steady. Cutting it straight across. And then for me, because I'm just doing a window with shutters, I'm cutting it up the center and then letting the fourth side hang on there. Spin that out. There we go. 
So now I've got my first window open. Second one open. Okay. Now we have a door that swings open and a window. Okay. All right. Now the fun part. Now you get to decorate the outside of your house any way that you want. So I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of painting. But like I said, you do not need paint. If you don't have any at home, you could also use markers. Okay. Um, you're going to want to try to make sure that they're not the washable kind of markers because those will rub right off really easily. If you have some markers, they're a little bit more permanent. Okay. So what I'm thinking about doing for my design is I'm thinking I might add some flowers. I've got a little bit of side, um, space here on the side of my door, and I, of course, can go on the side of my house as well. So I'm going to be adding some flowers. So open up my green paint here. Just a little on my plate. And then all right. And then put some paint on. Some stems for my flowers. And the things about flower stems is they do not need to be straight. They can be curvy and wavy because that's what real flower stems look like. They don't just go totally up straight. I'll do three right on this corner. Here we go. They're not all the same height, and that's okay because flowers don't all grow at the same height. Now, I'm going to take my white and my yellow, and I'm going to do some flower petals. You can use whatever colors you want. These are just the three colors that I decided to work with today. Here we go. Now I've got some white flowers painted. And I'm going to move over and do a yellow flower. You, of course, could be doing whatever design you want. You could add some vines. You could do some bushes, some trees. Anything that you might find up against the house. So, and I've got three little flowers here. <laughs> Adding a little bit of yellow in the middle of my white flowers to make them look like daisies. There. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm thinking I might add a little bit of green grass around the edge of my house. Just to give it a little bit more pop of color. What are you adding to your house? What are some things that you've decided to add on to decorate your house? Maybe you decided to draw on some bricks and make it look like a brick house. Maybe you're also adding on some green around your house. Ooh, maybe you designed your house with some bugs on the edges. Maybe you've got some dragonflies or some butterflies or ladybugs on it. Ooh, that would look nice. I can't wait to see how everyone's houses turn out. Go. Almost done. I only have one more side to paint grass onto, and then I'll be all finished with my grass. And grass is just like the flowers. It's okay if it's not all the same height. Here we go. So now I painted on some grass along all the edges of my house. Now, I think I'm gonna make it draw on some vines. I love how vines look when they grow on houses and I would like some vines on my house. With vines, there's always lots of different parts coming off of it. Lots of loop-de-loops and swirls. So if you've decided that you're gonna do a vine like I am, don't be afraid to have lots of different parts and swirls coming off of it. That's my favorite part to my vine so far. Woof, it's nice and swirly and curly. Okay. And then some vines also have flowers on them. So if you want it, you could add on some flowers onto your vine. Or you could add on an animal or a bug crawling on your vine. I might add a ladybug on my vine. There. Look at that. That vine growing all out. All right. Now that I'm done drawing on my vine, I think I'm going to draw a little. Ladybug. Let's see. I do think a ladybug could go on my door. Let's see. I think I'm going to have it right in the middle. I'm going to do it right above my door there, right in the middle. And I'm going to draw my ladybug a little bit bigger than a regular ladybug would be because I want to be able to see it. Outline drawn, now I need to add some red.
When I was younger, someone told me that when you see a ladybug, it's good luck. Especially if you help it. See, there's my little ladybug. I'm going to add some more black dots onto it. There we go, all finished. All right. I think I might do a little green bush on the other side of my door. I draw bushes a lot like I draw clouds. I make them round and poofy looking. Only difference is I use green instead of white. I'll give you guys some time while I paint my green bush to decide what do you want to add on to your house. Maybe you want a Three with a tire swing on one side. Ooh, that'd be cool. Or maybe you have a special idea of how you want to use your house at the end and what theme you want it to be. Okay. Now I've got my bush on the side of my door painted. What I'm gonna do is on the top of my house, I'm gonna write what I'm gonna use it for, okay? So on the top of my house, I'm going to write fairy house. You guys, of course, don't need to use yours as a fairy house. Like I said, you could use it as a birdhouse outside. You could use it as a dollhouse, you could just use it as anything small. You could even use it as a parking garage for your cars. This would totally fit some Tonka cars in there. Okay, and I have written fairy home at the top. And you know what you could do is you could even un like take the, the top right off and you could pretend that this is the chimney of the home. I'm going to keep mine on. Thanks for doing this craft with me, boys and girls. Remember to send me your um, finished mini home when you're done.